Hello, everybody. Welcome to the April company update. So far, we're having a great year. It's been uh, injury free, and for that, we are very thankful. We uh, put an emphasis on safety, and we would like to keep it that way. Very impactful uh, video uh, was shown this year at the uh, quarterly meetings, and uh, I think it was an accurate reflection of what goes on on uh, many job sites, many of those personalities or personalities that I um, could relate to. Um, sometimes it may even creep into um, my behavior that uh, I wish I could fix and I can fix. So um, uh, reflect back on that as we try to go about um, understanding how it is uh, we can keep each other uh, safe. Uh, the people in the room and in the situation are the people that can uh, maintain uh, safety. Mobile Electric um, in general uh, is busy. Uh, we uh, continue to, to pick up more work to uh, get things um, accomplished. We are adding lots of people. Uh, I think one of the um, misnomers about uh, uh, the, the workforce here at Mobile Electric is we are constantly uh, trying to add people. Um, if it's uh, a lack of people on a job site, it's not because of lack of trying. Uh, we have uh, gone uh, to many career fairs um, and advertisements and uh, job fairs and school uh, fairs and uh, missions out there right now to hire as, uh, as many people as practical. And of course, uh, we want to hire people who align with our core values of treating others that they want to be treated, uh, merit shop, thrifty, and meeting our customer needs. Um, and uh, we find, um, well, not enough of those people. So uh, we continue to go out there and uh, push forward on hi hiring and adding people. Added two people this week in Minnesota. We have three people to add in Oklahoma next week. Uh, we have um, uh, appointments set up for adding uh, five other people uh, coming up here. And uh, we continue to push forward uh, very aggressively and trying to find works in the eight places where we don't. We recently got the survey results back. Uh, so recently, I haven't had a chance to read all of them. I think I've read all the comments and gone all over all of the numbers, but I'd like to reread them and compare and go back and take notes and, and see where we have common themes. Um, it can be a very uh, confusing task, I guess I would say. Uh, oftentimes, uh, comments are contradictory to each other. Um, one person wants us to do A and the other person wants us to do anything but A. Um, and so we uh, try to balance those out. Uh, clearly, there's a few things in which we could uh, do a better job of sharing information. Uh, and so we're going to try to do that as uh, we push forward with uh, quarterly meetings, um, always available for asking questions and, and, uh, and uh, giving answers and uh, finding out um, uh, what's there. Uh, other issues that come up, uh, we hope to address uh, as we talked about the quarterly meetings. We had lots of changes last year uh, based on them. We saw a 25% increase in uh, the overall um, satisfaction score uh, here at Warm Rocker from year to year. We're happy to see that. Uh, and we'd like to think it's because of some of the actions we take had taken. Some people are, are still discouraged. Uh, some people were discouraged enough they, uh, they left. So uh, that's unfortunate. Um, but we, again, continue to push ahead and are uh, thankful to all the people out there that make a difference. Uh, we have people all over the com company uh, trying to uh, help out their uh, co-workers and the customers and uh, trying to make a difference. And that is truly what I believe is special about Wilmer Electric is the people um, and the people we have and the care and concern that they uh, show for one another. So um, with that, I will turn it over to some other uh, uh, reports and updates uh, in the local area and uh, from uh, Trista about uh, your co-workers. So, Thank you for everything. And again, thank you for your concern on safety. And thank you, especially for answering the survey, for giving your candid feedback uh, so that we can uh, take actions um, to uh, make improvements. Of course, some of the uh, comments, or well, all of them are anonymous to us. Uh, so if they're very specific in nature, we can't specifically address it because we don't know who made that concern. If you would like specific um, action on a specific item, uh, please let me know. Um, and I will uh, try to work with you and help you in doing that. If you're somehow confused about some policy or procedure that's put in place or that we lack here at Warm Electric, again, um, that's my job to uh, find out what those are. Uh, please don't hesitate to bring those to my attention. Uh, you can call me or text me at 402-202-0555. 
I answer all my calls unless I'm already on the phone. Thank you. Have a great day. Well, everybody, uh, it's time for a monthly update for the month of April in the central region. Um, first and foremost, we have now went 222 days without a recordable injury. Uh, that is, uh, that's great. Keep up the good work. Um, keep looking out for each other. Keep up on the PPE. Um, all things that, uh, that we do to help keep ourselves and our coworkers safe. Uh, one other thing on safety. Um, lockout tag out equipment. When we did our quarterly meeting a few weeks back uh, as part of the lockout tag out class, there was a few people that uh, had said that they did not have either a breaker lock or the actual padlock. Um, I have some more of those and I've handed out quite a few of them. So if you were one of the people that said that you were missing one of those and you haven't gotten a new one from me, let me know and I will get that out to you. Um, another thing, we have a new uh, inspection for the monthly safety inspection. Uh, the last couple safety meetings, weekly safety meetings have been about that and the new process of that. Um, it being uh, the 1st of April, it is time to do a monthly safety inspection for all of our projects as well. Uh, as far as new work, we haven't received any new work in the last month. Uh, we're waiting on some info for a few projects. Um, the Pershing development with Ronco Construction. Uh, it's an apartment building down uh, downtown where the Pershing Auditorium used to be. Uh, that is the, that's the project of most size that we're still waiting on information. We've been repricing some different things and, and whatnot. And uh, uh, it looks promising, but we don't know anything for sure on that one. So if you know of any projects that are going to be coming out, um, anything that we can keep an eye on, let us know and we can uh, start tracking them so that we don't miss them when, when they do come out for bid. As far as the work we have, uh, we have started at the Caliber Collision here in the last month. Uh, we're wrapping up on the Maxwell project. Those guys will be coming home soon within the next couple weeks and uh, getting ready to start at the Residence Inn. Other than that, a lot of it is uh, you know, working on the same projects that we've been working on for a while. Uh, last thing that I've got is we currently don't have any update to code class. Uh, as you know, Lowell had a death in the family and had to postpone. Uh, he will be contacting us with dates and he has not done that yet. So when I get, when I have that, um, I will take a look at them and see which ones will line up the best for us and send out more information at that time. Um, if you have anything else, please feel free to contact me at any time. Thank you and keep up the good work. Hello and welcome to the uh, April uh, update for employees. We did have a couple new hires as well as lots of um, anniversaries that we will go through here for April. So for the month of March, we had three new hires. Um, on March 1st, we had Mason Eckstein, Eckstein um, from Minnesota who is in the prefab shop as a laborer for um, the time being. And then we had two on March 25th. We had Jonathan Escoff, uh, who was an apprentice in Minnesota. And we rehired Dean Swart part-time um, in Minnesota, who is a journeyman. So welcome back. To and welcome to Mason and Jonathan. We're excited to have you uh, part of Wilma Electric. And now the April anniversaries. Um, we have Paul Lovins, who is an apprentice in Oklahoma on April 3rd. We'll be here one year. And, and Connor Schultz, who is an apprentice in Oklahoma, will be celebrating one year um, here at Boma. Ron Lynn Bloom, who is an apprentice in Minnesota on April 4th, will be here two years. And Fernando Vasquez Padilla, who um, is an apprentice in Nebraska on April 4th, will be here two years. Matt Lusbrock, who is a foreman in Minnesota on April 5th, will be here three years. And Matt Curio, who is an apprentice um, in Nebraska on April 6th, will be here four years. Brian Baxter, who um, is a journeyman in Nebraska, will be here nine years on April 13th. And Tara Epp on April 13th will be here nine years and Tara works in the estimating department. We have Sean Smith, who is a journeyman who on April 13th will be here four years. And Sean is in Nebraska. 
um, Chris Jans, who is a journeyman in Oklahoma, on April 16th will be 12 years. And Stefan Harris, who is an apprentice in Oklahoma, on April 17th will be here one year. Uh, Bryce Ponziak on April 17th will be here one year and Bryce is an apprentice in Oklahoma. Kelsey Wood, who's a maintenance tech based out of Oklahoma on April 17th will be here one year as well. Matt Fredrigal, who is a journeyman in Nebraska on April 20th will be here four years. And Lee Freudenberg, who is a project engineer and he is based out of Nebraska on April 21st will be here 10 years. Andrew Crow, who's a foreman in Oklahoma on April 24th will be here seven years. And Tom Rogers, who is a journeyman in Oklahoma on April 25th will be here 13 years. So thank you to all of those individuals um, and congratulations on your impending anniversaries. We're excited to have you been here with us and we look forward to another year. Hope that all is going well and be safe.